The P1S is the latest entry into the 3D market by Bamboo Labs. Bamboo recently reached out to us about doing a review on the P1S, and they sent this one over to see what we think. Price and feature-wise, the P1S is situated in the middle ground compared to the other two offerings, the P1P and the X1 Carbon. As the P1P has seen a recent price drop to $599, the two versions of the P1S come in at $699 for the base model and $949 for the combo version, which includes the much-touted AMS, or Automatic Material System. And while the AMS can be added to the P1P or the base P1S for $349, the P1S combo comes with many more features to justify the price. And the differences between these printers are just as profound as their prices. Starting with the extruder gears, both P-series printers have regular steel gears, while the X1 has hardened steel. This continues with the nozzle, with both P-series having stainless steel and the X1 again having hardened steel. The cooling system is where the differences really begin. The P1P is open and allows for an optional system, but both the P1S and the X1 come with the closed loop control due to the cases. Air filtration is another difference from the P1P as it allows for an optional purchase, but the P1S and X1 both come with activated carbon filters. Vibration suppression, automatic bed leveling, and Auto-Z offset adjustment come built in for all three printers, but only the X1 sports the infamous LiDAR system as well as a door sensor, and the cameras for both P-series printers fall far behind the X1's camera. One of the biggest differences between the X1 and both the P1P and P1S is the onboard display and control system. The X1 comes with a very nice 5-inch touchscreen display, but the P1P and P1S are both relegated to a measly 2.7-inch display controlled by what can only be related to as a low-cost TV remote control. It is functional, though, and great as a backup if needed. It would be nice to have the larger 5-inch touchscreen that's included with the X1 Carbon, but it's my understanding that Bamboo currently has no plans to make it available to the P1 series. Fortunately, the slicer is very robust and is widely thought of as one of the best around, even when you consider they haven't been around that long. And the app, on the other hand, is functional but not very robust. I was able to receive notifications when prints ended or there were problems. There's some settings that can be adjusted, but the main feature is the ability to check on your print with the camera. That being said, even the extremely fast internet at my home, I still found connecting to the camera took about 20 seconds or longer sometimes. Even if this was the only feature offered though, it would still be worth it to verify print integrity. Connectivity for the three printers surprised me when I found that while all three printers have Wi-Fi and Bamboo Bus, the P1P and P1S both have the ability to use Bluetooth, but not the X1. Score one, finally, for the little guys. The differences in the P1P and the P1S are not all that crazy, but the case alone makes it extremely apparent they're two different machines. And the addition of the cooling and carbon filtering would almost be expected considering the factory case. While Bamboo claims on their website that both the P1P and P1S have benchy times of 18 minutes or so, the real-world comparisons are a little different. I asked one of our other hosts, Nils, if he would test both his P1P and X1 using the factory-provided benchies, and I did the same thing on this P1S. As you can see, the P1P and X1 Carbon both have very acceptable prints, and text on the bottom is easy to read. The P1S also had a great print, and though it may be the difference in cameras, I believe this P1S has an even nicer print, especially with the bottom text. Starting from the moment print was pressed on the screen for all three machines, the times are quite different. The P1P came in at 27 minutes. The P1S was right at 20 minutes, and the X-Carbon was at 13 minutes. While the Benchy may have been the first item I printed on this P1S, it also came with a micro SD card loaded with 19 more prints, ranging from very neat little toys to very functional and needed tools. The quality of these prints is superb and impressive, especially when printing with Bamboo's own line of filament. 
These branded filaments come with an RFID chip that's automatically detected to ensure correct color, speed, and temperature when printing. And the spools themselves come apart to allow you to purchase filament without a spool to limit waste. They even include a spool as one of the prints on the SD card. This is especially helpful when you have a cardboard spool as those are not compatible with the AMS. There is a drawback to using generic filament, which, by the way, is what they call anything not bamboo. I've seen a time difference in some of the prints when using the basic preset settings. The bamboo filaments always print faster, which makes sense, I guess, since they've optimized everything with these filaments and not so much with the other filament. I'm sure that as I learn more and get into the advanced settings and the slicer, I'll be able to reduce this time difference. Speaking of time differences, the AMS is definitely something to consider when printing multicolor prints. Unlike an IDEX or a dual extruder system, every color change requires the AMS to pull the filament out, load the new filament, create an extrusion ball that drops out the back, prime the filament on the prime tower, and then begin printing the next layer. And with a lot of color changes, this could be a significantly longer time than you might expect. That being said, for the most part, if you keep the chute clear, the AMS works incredibly well and provides some pretty incredible four-color printing. The 3D printing battles for speed and quality are definitely heating up. The new Anchor Make M5 and the Prusa Mark IV, they claim speeds and options that rival the P1P and the P1S, and except for that price drop this summer for the P1P, that's made it the go-to for most people. The only real rival out there in price and features is the Creality K1 Speedy 3D Printer, and that's their name, not mine. It's only $599. It's fully enclosed. It claims 600 millimeters a second speed compared to the 500 millimeter a second here. This fall, they'll have an AI power boost coming out. It'll be interesting to see how Bamboo responds to this competitor. All in all, the Bamboo Lab P1S with or without the AMS is the 3D printer most people have been wishing for. The price is just awesome considering that you get a 3D printer capable of making incredible prints right out of the box. Turning screws under the build plate to level it, that's a thing of the past. Purchasing an add-on bed leveling system, that's not necessary. All of that with the ability to print four colors or even 16 if you add on more AMS units, that's made the Bamboo P1S a truly incredible machine. And all of this from a company who launched their first printer just over a year ago. I can only imagine what they're going to accomplish as they continue to compete with other companies in the 3D printing zone. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Nils. I'm Eric. And I'm Wyatt. And this is the 3D Printing Zone.